a welcome to those who have come the furthest to visit us today and to those who are joining us online. Um, as Ben has already mentioned, we're particularly pleased to have our speakers today, to have Deborah Masters and Huang Li Yen, and I will be introducing them in a little bit more detail when they come on. But I also want to mention two other guests we have who have come with Deb, some from a distance. A Terry Bates, who is the CEO of Cognition Education Limited. Now Terry is somewhere. Would you like to stand up? That's Terry. Um, and he's come from New Zealand. And Welcome to him. If you, want to, um, if you want to ask anything about the work that they do, then he's here to be asked and to be um, talked to at lunchtime, at the coffee break, or any other time at all. And the other guest is Sally Smart, who's the Southeast Asia Regional Manager of the same organization. Sally's based in Kuala Lumpur. Is Sally, there's Sally there, so welcome to her. So please feel free to, um, to speak to them. Now, what I'm going to do it by way of introduction is to say a little bit about the focus of today and a little bit about how we're going to work, the practicalities of today as well. So, in terms of the focus and the theme of what we're doing, um, I am the guilty party for writing the note that you received in advance, so any mistakes or generalizations there are mine, so you can have a go at me on that. But the theme for today is really about research. It's about what does research teach us about effective teaching and learning. There's such a lot of research and there's so many governments and ministries and schools and states that want to improve and want to try things that will make teaching and learning better. But they haven't time to set up new research projects and we've all been in that position advising people. But what we need to do is at least to see what the evidence is and that enables us to begin to consider is this evidence relevant to my situation or is it not? Is it different where I work or where my government works or where my school is or are there parts that are the same and parts that are different? So this is what today is about. The work that John Hattie has done, which Deb will be telling you about, has brought together the results of large amounts of research in a way that few people have done before. And it saved you reading 200,000 research reports, so you should thank Deb very much for that. But she will be telling you some of the findings there. And what I'd like all of us to do is to consider, is this what we expected? Are we surprised at this? Would this work in our schools? Is there something different about where we are? Or do we know of research that's available to us that has a different finding, or Paul calls some of these points into question. So these are the kind of questions to have in your mind. At the beginning, towards the beginning of Deb's presentation, you'll see a little film of some kids in, in a school in New Zealand. It is in New Zealand, that's right. Now, you may think, gosh, that's very different from the schools that I know, or you might think it's very similar. But the question for you to be asking is, in my schools or the schools in my country, will things like that, could things like that go on? Would they be effective in the same way or is there something different about them? The research which is being reported to us today is almost all in the English language, almost all, and a lot of it was based in the United States. Of course, the United States is a multiracial continent, so that itself is very wide. But the question for us in Asia is what does this mean for us? And one other thing I would say to clarify one point at the beginning. Deb will refer quite a lot to a book that John Hattie wrote that then led to other publications that many of you will have heard of called Visible Learning. And there's a leaflet on the tables in, in, referring to some activities following on from that. Back to research base for effective teaching and learning. And it is my great pleasure to introduce Deb Masters to, as our speaker for this morning. Um, Deb is an experienced educator. She has a background in teaching, both at primary and secondary level, but also is an expert on assessment. She's worked with John Hattie on the work on visible learning that we've heard about, um, and she's also worked with a number of ministries, including the New Zealand Ministry in, in Wellington. Um, we're very pleased to hear from her today about the evidence base for what is effective in teaching and learning. I know that you're going to enjoy working with her today. Um, as with myself, 
my request for, on behalf of Deb is if any of you are having problems in understanding what either of us is saying, don't suffer in silence. Put your hand up and we'll speak a little slower or we'll repeat what we're going to say. And very lastly, if you're facing the back, the front, if you're feeling uncomfortable about seeing the screen up there, feel free to move your chair around so that you can sit comfortably and see the presentation. Having said that, I'd like you all to join me in welcoming Deb Masters. Thank you.